Welcome Libra. Okay, here's what we're going to do is we are going to, I always look at the wrong side first, so forgive me. <laughs> um, we are going to look at what is going on for you right now, your current energies, okay, and what they are saying. And we're going to look at ways to help you through this journey. Okay, trying to remember the word. <laughs> I, think of, I had uh, the word somewhere, but it went and I found another one. Anyway, Libra. <laughs> I am Juanita and I'm going to do your reading for you today, which is kind of weird to say because I don't know who else would. But anyway, I don't know. I'm all over the shop at the moment. Is that how you're feeling? Are you feeling like you can't make rhyme and reason about anything right now, maybe? I don't know. But anyhow, we're using the Cosmic Reading Cards, okay, which I've already shuffled and pulled out because, to be honest with you, Libra, it takes me forever to get these out because they're so big and awkward and chunky and kind of embarrassing. Um, so it saves time. We can get more information to you then. And the Osho Zen Tarot we will be using to, um, you know, clarify what the messages are for you or just add on to them, whatever comes up. Let's just see, shall we? So let's start. So first of all, off, we have gratitude. Now, sometimes when this card pops up, I think, oh, it's so obvious, you know, but what I really like about gratitude is that, you know, when we hold gratitude in our heart, and, and I'm really being drawn to the heart centre here, it sends out a vibration, right? It, it helps release um, resistance, it helps release fears, it, it really props, up, props us up from these lower vibrational feelings that we can have here. And, um, and the thing is that it also helps us to break down any walls that we have that are holding us back, okay? And, um, and, and, and the thing is, Libra, is that when we have, hold gratitude in our hearts, and it really is holding it in our hearts. It's not just thinking, oh yeah, I'm grateful for this and I'm grateful for that. It's feeling it, okay? Because the, the thoughts produce the feeling, right? And so that's always a really good way to know if you're on track. What is it that you're feeling so that you can become aware of what is it that you're thinking, okay? Um, sorry, I was on another tangent, went on another tangent then. But it, it is very important for you to really feel in your heart this feeling of gratitude because at the end of the day, because you can see around here, this here, I, I hope you can see that, all the, you know, kind of like things coming off, whatever you call them, vibration, I see it as vibration, that's all I can really say, that's why no other words are coming I don't know what's wrong with me right now, Libra. What's wrong? <laughs> um, I just feel like I can't. I don't know. I feel nervous. I feel really nervous. So maybe that's how you're feeling right now. Maybe you're anxious about something. And so holding on to this gratitude will help with that, okay? Coming down into your heart center will help with that. Whatever you're thinking, drop it down in there to be dissolved and release it okay but going out and finding things to be grateful for whether it's you know um, a beautiful flower a gorgeous tree a nice sunset a, a lovely view you know what the universe has to offer us is a plentiful and we are able to find so many things out there to be grateful for okay uh, these two too many I'm going to take this one here First off, laziness. Now, I don't mean that in the way of you're lazy, like, you know, get up and freaking make the bed, whatever. I always see this as Libra, someone who um, wants a holiday, right, and imagines that they're on holiday, but they're actually still in the kitchen, sitting there pretending to be on holiday. It's like having these um, illusions shattered kind of thing, um, because what they haven't done is put the effort in to get to where they actually want to go. Okay, so I just want you to be, know that um, while it could be the case that you're nearly, um, you've nearly accomplished something, you've still got work to do, and don't um, slack off is what I want to say. Um, 
what else do we have for gratitude for Libra? And also, Libra, I want you to maybe have a look at what you have accomplished so far and be grateful for that. Be grateful for what you've put in. Be grateful that you have this, you know, amazing achievement, whatever it that may be. Okay. Anything else for gratitude for Libra? Yep. Something's almost done. Almost done. We've got two nines here. So you're almost at the goalpost okay and it's really really important to like I say not slack off but also be grateful for what it is that you're about to bring forth okay be grateful for the work that has gone on behind it and if other people are involved be grateful for their contribution as well okay next we have unconditional love now the majority of I always say this when you ask a parent, you know, do you love your child unconditionally? Of course they say, of course I do. Of course I love them unconditionally, right? But a lot of parents will put conditions upon their child, actually. Have you cleaned your room? Have you done your homework? Have you been good? Right? And if you've been bad, you get scolded, you get punished, whatever. That's, that's conditional. And I'm not saying to let kids away with blue murder but it is conditional. See it for what it is. Yeah, there are ways to actually deal with that without withdrawing love because a child sees it much more differently than what a parent sees it. They see it as a withdrawing of love. Yeah, um, so that's an example for you. Not all of you have children, I know, but it gives you an example, right? So unconditional love is loving without demands and expectations, with no judgment, with no conditions. And it is also something that we need to give to ourselves because at the end of the day, we're our own worst enemy. Yeah? Um, interesting again how you've got like I said before about dropping into the heart from the mind and this is what this is saying and I love that this has got this around here just like this card right this vibration here what is it what vibration are you letting out with your love because as soon as you hold this unconditional love inside of yourself for yourself and it's not being vain it's not being cocky, it's not being full of yourself, it's pure love, right? That radiates out. And what happens then is that what is what is reflected back to you, okay? The other thing with this is this can also highlight any wounds within you, okay? Generally from childhood, okay? And, and so these are things, parts of ourselves that we need to actually um, start to love, okay? It also allows you, Libra, to see the wounds in other people and love them. It, it, it shows you the best way to love them. That's not to say, though, Libra, that you stay in a situation that isn't good for you, okay? Um, and you'll know in your gut whether it's the right thing or not. Um, yeah, I, I stayed for a really long time in a very bad relationship, very toxic, abusive, um, because that's what I was taught. I, I, it was familiar to me throughout my life, right? Anyhow. But I stayed with the person for way longer than I should have because I knew that he also had a really bad childhood. And I felt like if only I could give him enough love, he would be okay and then we would be okay. But for one, it wasn't up to me. And secondly, there was nothing I could have done because he had to do the work. It wasn't up to me. Again, you know, um, yeah, so that might have been a bit of an overshare, but, um, unconditional love is something that you have to release all your doubts about yourself and accept all your imperfections and everything and 
even for your mistakes, whatever, right? And love yourself anyway, right? Because I tell you, for years I beat myself up about that and I had to let that go. And I had to understand that there was a reason why I did that. And once I learned, yeah, healing. Once I learned and started to heal from what it was I needed to heal from, I no longer needed to be that rescuer. So it's the same for you, Libra. Okay, I feel like that story has come out for a reason. And there might be some of you that resonate with that. So healing, making sure that you're doing the healing that needs to be done so that you can love unconditionally. Because it's not as simple as just going, oh, just don't don't be don't be so judgmental and, and don't put conditions on people and don't be demanding. We have to do the work behind it because we are that way for a reason. So it really is a matter of looking at um, how we can change that and what it is that needs to be healed within us in order to achieve that. Okay. Building walls, building walls, hiding, holding back, not letting people see. No, mm, 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 mm. In mind, just as you were. Right? The other thing I want to say about this is this is about you hiding what it is that you possess inside. You're, you've got this gem inside of you. You are a gem, right? You are precious and you're hiding that. Part of that might be protection, okay, um, but you don't want no one to see that, okay. Now, we've got this next card here, which is be still. Really good way for you to come into your heart, being still, being in the stillness. Okay, um, this card can also represent um Emotions which are overwhelming, it, particularly rage, anger, okay. Um, coming within, coming in and centering yourself, grounding yourself, okay, really good thing to do, Libra. Um, and, you know, walking on the earth barefoot, okay, standing on the earth barefoot, going down the beach if you're near a beach to let the waves wash over your feet um, unless it's freezing cold of course maybe don't do that but I feel like this is really yeah see this is part of the unconditional love right if, if you've got these feelings of rage and anger and whatever else going on there, um, it's very hard to love yourself when you're feeling like that, like, oh, I'm such a bad person, like, I shouldn't be feeling like this, blah, 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 you know, what a horrible person I am, yeah, and the thing is that those feelings are there for a reason, and generally it's not about the situation at hand, it's generally something from the past that has been triggered, okay, so be aware of that, so we have guidance, yeah, Allow your heart to guide you. At the moment, I feel as though maybe there's um, there's some sort of guidance in your life, potentially, that some of you are turning away from. Okay, but I want to say too, you've got angels, you've got spirit guides, you have a lot of support around you that you need to learn to tap into, okay, in order to feel that support and, and meditation is really 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 good for that there's lots of meditations on youtube for that so i'm not going to get too much into that with you okay so let's just have a look at be still for libra anything else for be still for libra you know this is acceptance for yourself is a really 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 big thing so we've got innocence here uh-huh uh-huh so this could be to do with the guidance right because see this dude here he's like the master of all masters right or at least that's how i see him he is a grasshopper sitting on his hand here and what he's doing is he's looking at the grasshopper and realizing that the grasshopper actually has something to teach him so he's forever learning right he doesn't see himself as like well i'm the master i know everything so there's nothing for me to learn he sees everything is an opportunity to learn and I feel like that's the same for you when you feel upset or angry or anything like that 
okay? It is really about bringing the awareness through and allowing yourself to truly see what it is that sits in the shadows of yourself, okay? Because at the moment, you don't want to see that. You want to turn away from it. And understandable, no one wants to see their shadow self. But the fact of the matter is, it is crucial for you to see your shadow self because it needs to be brought into the light in order for it to dissolve. And it doesn't mean that we'll ever be done with our shadow. Never. It's always there, right? It can't not be, okay? Uh, um, so... In that regard, it is bringing, you know, those parts of yourself into your awareness so that you can actually start to heal. Okay, so next we have mirrored souls. And this is about having people around you in a relationship, particularly any kind of relationship, doesn't have to be romantic, okay, that are triggering you. All right, I feel like this is the fact with you right now. There are people who are triggering you and bringing out this part of you that you do not like and you want to hide and bury. But the fact of the matter is that you have been triggered because there is something to be triggered. Okay, if there was nothing to be triggered, it wouldn't bother you. Okay, so it's looking at those triggers and seeing why are they there? What do I need to learn from this? What do I need to heal? Okay, because there feels like this, there's this putting on this happy face and pretending like everything's fine when in actual fact it's not and you feel like there's this um I, I'm getting the word sneakiness so I don't know if that's to do with you or someone else around you but I don't always get that from that card but it's really jumping out at me right now um the other thing is I feel like maybe some of you walked away from a situation in the past and didn't acknowledge everything that needed to be acknowledged or heal everything that needed to be healed then um, because it's too big and you don't want to look at it, okay? And, yeah, adventure. This is interesting. This has popped up. Because I, all I see is this walking away. I see this as walking away, which is super interesting. I've never seen it like that before, but walking away, going on an adventure... Maybe some of you are intending on leaving a situation and you haven't told anyone. It's like you're kind of like sneaking out, like, shh, I'm going to leave now. Don't tell anyone. I hope you can hear me whispering. Um, yeah, um, which leads me to the next card, you see, patience. And look, if you're in a situation where it's dangerous, absolutely, skedaddle. You know, get out if you can safely. Okay, um, but with this one, patience. Um, now, this is all about, it, like, I see, see, I see this lady, right? She's got long, long hair, you know, and it's taken years and years and years for her to grow this hair. And I can imagine that once upon a time, when she was probably young, she imagined herself with long black hair, and if she you know, plaited it, then it would be this beautiful long black plait. But what happened is because it takes such a long time to grow something, yeah, her hair started to turn grey. And so now these plaits are not those long black plait, plaits that she envisioned. But what she did, see, she's sitting here at peace. She's okay with this, right? Or she's sitting there not wanting to see it, one or the other. <laughs> so, but, but what happened is, because I see her sitting at peace, right, in peace, right? Um, she, every time that her hair grew, maybe a centimeter or an inch, she embraced that. She understood, she learned the value of patience. She learned to love herself no matter what her length her hair was. She learned so many different things along the journey because she embraced each step and she took lessons from each step. So what that meant was that when it came to doing those long black plaits that didn't quite emerge, she loved what she ended up with anyway because... She learned everything along the way. Now, if she hadn't have learned from that and was impatient the whole entire time, didn't learn anything, she would have ended up hating those plaits and wanted them cut off. 
you know and so she you know this is the message for you libra is to embrace every step embrace every step of the adventure even if it doesn't feel good even if it feels like an absolute nightmare what is it that you need to learn from that right then yeah okay um this one popped out first completion yes you see, if you missed any parts of these jigsaws, you wouldn't be able to complete it. Now, what I love about this, we've got source here, and the fact that this last piece here is going into the third eye, this is about bringing source through into your soul, right? Seeing things for who they tr how they truly are. Really, really embracing the fact that you have this ability within you, okay? Because next we have Golden Crown. My gosh, Libra, I'm loving this for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, we have Golden Crown. So this Libra is about shining your light, okay? It really is, you have something to show the world. You've got... It's like I see you as being, you know, like one of those people with the, um, the lights on their head and they're walking along and it's shining in front of them. It's like you're there in front with this light on your head leading the way, yeah? And so the thing with this, though, that one thing that can get in the way, Libra, is when you have judgments um, about yourself or other people, Okay, that can actually dim your light and stop you from moving forward, okay? Um, the other thing about this is if you see other people around you achieving what it is they want to achieve and living their true passion, you might feel a bit envious, yeah? And so it really is a matter of looking at those emotions. Why do you feel like that? You know, and maybe this is what this these emotions are about. Maybe you feel so wildly angry because all these other people around you seem to have it all together and you don't, you know. Um, but the thing is that, again, it's going back to what vibration is that putting out? Because what happens is we only attract back what it is that we're vibrating. Okay, so you are only going to attract more of what it is that you're vibrating so really important to do the work here, Libra. Okay, so anything else for Golden Crown for Libra? Any? The Lovers. I feel like this is to do with married souls, to be honest. And this could very well be pertaining to a relationship that you are in or have been in. And maybe it is that you want this relationship. But the fact of the matter is that the healing needs to be done. You can't just rush into something here. Because at the end of it, if it doesn't work out, you're not going to be able to actually deal with that, right? Postponement. <laughs> Postponement. And, and this energy of this person, it feels like having to get to a point where, because it's, it's kind of like this person is seeing the world as grey, kind of grey, right? And they've done some of the work to bring colour into their world, but it's not quite enough to colour the whole world. This here is what they actually want. But this here is what is being reflected on the outside. This is what the vibration is, okay? So some work has been done, but much more needs to be done. Okay, so it's really not rushing into anything to do what needs to be done to learn from the lessons that have happened so that you can go forth and actually, you know, whatever the result is at the end of the day, once you've been through this journey, you will be able to handle anything because you've learnt Okay, so next we have a walk your truth. Okay, so this is about who you truly are, right? You know, being an expression of your soul in a sense, right? We are 100% source in action. And this is what needs to be brought forth. Okay, now there are people who are going to shun you for that. There are people who are not going to support you in that. Because what it does is it highlights them and what it is they're not doing. 
to make that happen for yourself, just as maybe some people do the same for you when you feel envious or judgmental, right? So, yeah, I think that that's really important for you to shine your light and regardless of what anyone else says, do it anyway. You know, never mind all that. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Interesting. These two cards are coming under Walk Your Truth. Walk Your Truth. Okay. So, Libra, it's a matter of you not allowing your emotions to get in the way of walking your truth. To You have your own imprint to put on the world. Okay. And... Either this is internal fighting with yourself. The other thing is I want to say, it could be external. You could be wanting to live your truth and other people are trying to stop you. Okay? The other thing is this armor. Letting go of the armor. I know it's a protection and I know it's served you before, but it's no longer serving you and it's holding you back from moving forward. Thunderbolt. I think you're afraid. I think that's fear for you. I think you're afraid that this is what it's going to cause. But you need to walk your truth. You need to stand in your power, Libra. Okay? You need to shine. Because this is what you're here to do. Okay? You, by, by following your passion and standing in your truth and being who you truly are, you will naturally shine. And what will happen is you will teach others to do the same you will empower others to do the same and those people who shunned you before and criticized you and put you down and fought with you and tried to hold you back they will come eventually and say how did you do it <laughs> show me let them let them have their little patty about it you know do you anyway well Okay, hang on. That was a little bit like overkill. Okay, so shine. Shine for Libra, please. I feel like maybe you feel like everything is going to fall apart. And Libra, look, if it falls apart, learn. Okay, learn. Because if it was solid, it wouldn't fall apart, right? The outsider, ah, okay, so you're scared of being shut out. You're scared of people rejecting you. So this is an emotion, Libra, that you need to address. Where is it coming from? Maybe it was from when you were a child. Maybe you were rejected as a child. You don't want to be shut out. But the thing is that when you do acknowledge that, you'll be able to turn around and stop looking through the gate that is not only shut but locked. Okay, it's it's done, man. It is totally done. So it's time to find your path. It's time to find your adventure. Yeah, because look at this. Turn around and go on your adventure. Walk in to your light. Okay, shine. Anything else for shine for Libra? Anything else for shine for Libra? totality knowing that you will be supported okay it's like you're almost there Libra you're almost there these acrobats have to swing back and forth a number of times before they can grab each other's hands right and you, it's like you're one swing away you're almost there and that's when it can seem the hardest that's when it feels like it's time to give up and that's when you must keep pressing forward celestial teacher I love that this is at the end here for you, okay? You need to share your wisdom, even about this process of whatever it is that you're doing. Share your wisdom, okay? Let go of your doubts, okay, Libra? You are a natural teacher. You are a natural counsellor, right? This is who you are. Life has taught you so much. You have so much to share from your experiences, right? Now, I couldn't have given you examples before if I hadn't had those experiences, yeah? 
So it is up to you to bring that forth. Your experiences are invaluable and people need you to share your, your lessons with them. Okay, because you have learned, but you keep stuck to yourself because you don't believe you're capable, or you don't believe anyone would want to hear it, or you just don't believe you've got it in you. Well, I'm here to tell you, you do. Okay, Look, so are the cards, you're the master, you are the master. This is incredible. Wow, like, come on, Libra, stop holding yourself back. You're not doing yourself any favors, and not only that, the world needs you. And you're not doing the world any favours by holding yourself back. I know it's scary, but do it anyway, right? Have the courage. Have the courage. Because once upon a time, this flower was a seed in between the rocks, right? It grew from in between the rocks, from the hardest, hardest place is where the mo most growth comes from. And it went towards the light. It grew up into the light and shone. Look at this. It's given colour to this ground here. You can do this, Libra. You can totally do this. You've got it in you. You just need to believe in yourself, okay? Go into the stillness here. Love yourself unconditionally. Be grateful for who you are. Because you are awesome. Okay, Libra. Libra. I'm going to ask you to please subscribe and share and like this video. Okay, let's help the world together, all right, with our ability to heal. Okay, Libra, take care of yourself. I hope this helps you and um, I will be thinking of you. Bye, Libra.